Hey everybody, it's Dr. Giggles from the Holland of Palooza podcast. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing Factory of Terror in the West Warwick, Rhode Island location. Uh, before we get into this and break everything down, if you're new here, make sure that you subscribe. Number two, if you enjoyed the review and you, <clears throat> and you like what we do, click that like button. Make sure you share it so it spreads out. Anytime you can share it, it helps us out greatly. And also, uh, if you went to West Warwick this year, leave a comment down below what you thought. And number two, if you haven't been after watching this review, does it make you want to go or just kind of like, nah? Uh, anyway, so let's get into it. All right, so... Factory of Terror, West Warwick, Rhode Island. Uh, we went there on Saturday night, and uh, uh, it was kind of like a, a, no, I'm sorry, Friday night. It was kind of like a, um, a last minute, last second kind of uh, thing to do, because we had gone to, what is it, the Fo Fortress of Terror, or whatever, in Newport, Rhode Island, and we'll do a review on that. That's coming out soon. Uh, but in any case, so... Uh, the way, you know, we, we went to Newport and then we flew back to uh, West Warwick so we could uh, check out uh, Factory Terror because it was their closing night. Well, weekend. The Saturday was their last night. But in any case, uh, you know, I we reviewed them in the past. I talked to uh, some of the management there and, uh, you know, trying to get things done that we thought we could this year proved a little difficult, but we're working on that for next year. But in any case, so uh, those that know that I actually like this location better than the Fall River one. I know a lot of people know the Fall River location. That's the original. Everybody loves it. But I'm more partial to Worcester and West Warwick than I am Fall River. West Warwick is much different than, than uh, Worcester, and it's much different than uh, Fall River, which makes it unique. It's not the same. You know, all three are different in their own ways. Uh, I find that uh, the West Warwick location has a little bit more creepier feel than the other ones. And I'm not knocking the other ones. It just has this weird, I don't know, it's got this weird vibe to it. And it's not a bad vibe. It's just the way that it's done, it's really creepy and it's really tight. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's different. It's really different. And, and I like that. I love that when you're waiting in the line to go in, there is this actor, and I don't know how he does it. He must be he must be like really proficient in making sure his body's still when he does this. But it looks like he's floating down the stairs. It kind of it kind of makes you like he's like kind of like stepping real quick, but it's, the top of his body doesn't move, so it looks like he's just floating. Because when you walk up those stairs, there's nothing there that would make him slide. There's no railings, no nothing. It blows our mind. But anyway, when you go in, that same actor, that same character, get, breaks down the rules of the factory. You know, no cell phones, no nothing. You know, just go in, enjoy, get scared, pee your pants, whatever. Uh, the funny thing is, I didn't recognize one of the women in, um, you know, in her character. And she was like, I know you, I know you. And I'm like, cool, no you don't. Like, I didn't realize who it was, and it was kind of funny. But it's one of the people that I talked to that worked. I didn't, I didn't know that was her. Uh, it was kind of funny. And uh, I will say this. As you go throughout the, the, the you know, the haunted house there in the factory, uh, I like a lot of the sets that they have. It's different with the, you know, the, the creepy baby nursery in that long hallway. When you have the guy that actually takes his eyeball out, you know, he's got like that half an eyeball thing. Uh, a fake eye and he puts it on his tongue and Jessica almost threw up and it was awesome uh, I do love the puppets I'm like a big fan of the puppets I wish I could get one and put it in the house so if anybody's getting rid of a puppet and want to give it to me like the big ones by all means let me know I, I will gladly take it off your hands uh, and uh, I just love that they really put in an effort to make you feel thematically with the sets that whatever you're in you feel like you're in when you walk through it, you, you know, and the actors were doing one hell of a job. Like, you could tell the actors were feeling it. They were giving it their all. I mean, I don't get scared, but that's not really why I go through them. I like to watch Jessica and Danielle and everybody else get scared. I love seeing what the actors do. I love seeing what the sets look like. I love seeing the props. I love seeing the makeups and, and the costumes and stuff. For me, that's what it's all about. And they really hit it on the head. Uh... There was a little bit of a problem of not a huge Congo line, but it got backed up a little bit. 
and that's my nitpick of that place. And I know exactly the spot is, and they probably know it is. Uh, how many of you go to a haunt and you go through, we call it the birth canal, but it's really like when you go through and you're like squished in, it's an inflatable thing you walk through. That always backs up any haunt that I've ever been into. I've seen it at every, any haunt that has it, I always see the backup. Always happens. A lot of times, you know, they love the effect and it sometimes if you can control the crowds, you can do that. Sometimes you can't and it gets backed up. I, for those that know when I review, I'm always looking at, you know, am I bumping into other groups? Because there's nothing worse than bumping into another group. We bumped into them and then once, you know, even though we kind of like gave them a little bit of space to get through, we still caught up with them again. Now I know it's, it, it's really tough to pace and I always uh, I'm, I'm all you know I look at haunts that can properly pace other groups to make sure that they get through and I know it's not always the case if it's busy you have no choice but to put them through and I know and and I shouldn't be as harsh and I am and if any and if any haunt gets offended that you know I'm kind of like taking marks off of the Congo line the only reason why I do that is because I found a haunt that is perfected making sure you will never bump into another group now i know that's probably a costly system and i know outdoor haunts can't do that it just wouldn't work number one number two uh a lot of haunts don't want to spend the money on it they take the chance and i get that but like if people could take a page out of demented fx book if you have an indoor haunt and can perfect that awesome if you can't and you notice you keep having conga line backups maybe it's best to take out what we call the birth canal and set up something different i know people love that stuff it's done at every haunt and hey it's your haunt it's not my money i don't run it you guys love what you love and you put in what you put in you you see what works and you see what doesn't work that's what we do i can only make a suggestion you can go tell me to eat shit plain and simple and i'm not offended by it because it's not my place it's just my place to to give my honest opinion and all that but all jokes aside and trash talking aside uh, which I'm not really doing uh, I'm gonna give Factory of Terror in the West Warwick location a four out of five just because like I said I don't like bumping into other groups I know it's something I probably shouldn't be so harsh on because it's really hard to perfect that and it's really hard to stop that and I shouldn't be doing that but I do it anyway because it's my personal preference I don't want to bump into another group I don't want to look at it. I don't want to be it. I want my own experience with my own group. And I and, and please don't take offense. I know it's a hard thing to do. You know, I I give a lot of haunts a lot of shit because of the Congo lines and bumping into other groups or actors not doing something. And I hate, I hate being the Debbie Downer and I hate talking bad about any haunt. Sometimes you just have to do it. And and let me let me tell everybody that's watching this whether you're a fan of this show you're looking for a review for a haunt to go to or you're the owner or an actor of it please don't take offense it's just me trying to say hey it's constructive criticism i'm just trying to lay out there hey this causes this issue maybe remove it and do something else that's cool to keep it going i don't know that's up to you that's up to everybody to decide that owns the haunt and all that but other than that we had a fantastic time we left and we're like wow that was awesome and again if it wasn't for that little hiccup bumping into people that place would have got a five out of five i have to say that west warwick location is stepping up their game and i can't wait to see the future they have and i hope that more and more people go to this location because trust me you'll have a good time you'll have fun if you want to see actors do a great job you want to see great sets and props and stuff and you want to see the crazy guy with the eyeball and try to make it throw up that is pretty cool too uh i highly suggest it uh again i had a great time i can't think highly enough of this place and no they didn't pay me to say that i still paid for my tickets uh so no this is not sponsored this is just me telling you how it is and giving you my thoughts so hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did make sure you share it make sure you hit like leave us a comment and make sure you subscribe because there's so many videos that are coming out that you don't want to miss out anyways until next time everybody peace out y'all